Good day, RGV. Today on Valley Puerto Vida, we're talking to special guest Charlie Clark of Charlie Clark Nissan about a Cannes Giving fundraiser that you can help be a part of. We'll also talk to an Academy Award nominated film director and producer about his latest movie, plus a guest in studio who uses his experience as a video gamer in school and a local artist who takes the island's trash and turns it into art. We've got all of that and more today on Valley Puerto Vida. The show starts right now. All right, hi there, and thanks again for joining us. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Now, listen, we are so excited to be joined by a very special guest in studio today because the Thanksgiving holiday is coming up and everyone is trying to do their part to spread kindness and the spirit of gratitude. And Charlie Clark of Charlie Clark Nissan is someone who is doing just that with his Cam's Giving fundraiser and other efforts. So thank you so much for being here today with thank special you. guest, Danielle. Thank you, so thank you. Yes. All right, you guys, we are so happy to have you here to talk about cans giving tell us what is the goal tell us everything well the idea was this is the first year you know we we'd love to give back to the community period and this was the first year that uh we were able to team up with enactus the students from utrgv which i'm really excited about yeah i mean they're all just really passionate yeah. about giving back and helping tackle some issues that are not only affecting us here in the valley but the globe. Yeah. So they've sort of, I'll let them speak on that in, in a little bit, but what we're doing this year is we're feeding uh, families um, throughout the valley that are in situations where they wouldn't otherwise have a meal. So full full family meal to yeah. this year, they, we went from, you guys did about 400 last year, if I'm not mistaken, and this year we're up to about 16, 1,600. Oh my goodness. And uh, we personally, uh, my, myself personally and our company, we've put in, mm -hmm. we've do donated about $20,000 and we've collected s some more from others like wow. uh, Elks Lodge okay. and Lineage. And then Enactus is helping us enact it, I guess. <laughs> 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 They're putting it into motion. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're uh, I, I've just been looking for this kind of a partnership for a really long time. And um, I'm looking forward to it. To see them, what you know, they're the fu they're our future. These these young people from UTRGV, yes. and they're going to be our political leaders, our local leaders, our business leaders. And as I'm an old guy, they need no. to be taking care of us. Absolutely, <laughs> Charlie. Thank oh. you so much. Thank you so much for the partnership. Um, so this initiative, and in, in part the partnership that we have with Charlie Clark, with Lineage, with Elks Large, Enactus is a student organization within the College of Business at UTRGV, and this partnership basically lets us target our UN sustainable goal of zero hunger, which we're trying to target this Thanksgiving. Amazing. We want to feed 1,600 families, and this year we are happy to announce that we're making it possible with these partnerships. Wow. And we're just so excited. Um, something that we've been able to do the past couple of years is feed families, right, during Thanksgiving, as well as our toy drive during Christmas. Um, but even then, we've never been able to do it to this capacity at yeah. 1,600 families. Last year we did 400, the year before that we did 200. This year, 1,600 families across two counties. And it's what I want you all to help me with, because you all, I wasn't a very good student, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I need you all to help me figure out what the ultimate goal is. Yeah. We need to set our mark. For the, how do we get the whole valley taken care of? You know, there's, and then how do we spread it from there? How do we get other schools involved? How do we get other organizations involved? Mm -hmm. If there's 20,000 families that need to be fed, we need to get there. Mm -hmm. You know to. what I'm saying? So we it's great to. to be at this mark, yeah. but we're, can't, we're like, we need to set a bar. We've set, we've set it now, and now what's the next level? So you guys need to help me figure that out. No, then, we f need to figure even, that out together. Even then, it's reaching higher, and it takes yeah. partnerships like yes, this. That's so right. we're, we're just so excited about the impact that we're going to be able to make this this Thanksgiving, right? And just all the future, yeah. all the future needs that we're going to So if, we, if you all would like to, if, if, that are watching right now, would like to get involved, and would like to give back, you can leave uh, canned foods, uh, dry, dry foods, uh, frijoles, uh, rice, uh, whatever you feel that it would be appropriate. You could drop it off at any of our locations. If you want to go to the uh, GoFundMe page and uh, donate financially, you can go to enactusrgv.com if I'm not mistaken, is that right? 
All right. And you know what? We actually do have your information here. Oh, right here on the yeah, screen. So can, here you go. There you right go. Here. You can visit their Brownsville right location uh, at the address there on your screen. And of course, uh, like they said, you can give Charlie Clark Nissan Brownsville. Oh, uh, Brownsville, uh, Harlingen, all of our used car locations. Uh, Charlie Clark McAllen Mission. Uh, Ed Carey and Oliver Brownsville, uh, Alton Glor, Boca Chica and International. Absolutely. We've got their Brownsville location info. We've got their Harlingen location info. And of course, you can visit Charlie Clark NissanHarlingen.com and the other website that you see on your screen. And as always, you can check out their Facebook page for details on Cans Giving to learn all about every vehicle sold uh, and how it, their, this will help families uh, in need this Thanksgiving holiday. Now, Charlie's been super busy with all his efforts to help everyone right here in the the valley and you know who else has been really busy film director and producer david massey he's an academy award nominated filmmaker who has produced and directed several movies and tv shows and he holds the distinction of becoming the first african-american in the history of the academy awards to be nominated for an oscar in the live action short film category you see david's love of history led him to watch a documentary that exploded the interaction of black african cultures and the historical information revealed some unfamiliar aspects things about the relationship among African civilizations on the western part of the continent that he never knew. So he decided to direct, write, and produce a short film called Passage with the hope that it will allow audiences to take a journey into the historical setting that's different from our own contemporary world. And he hopes that it connects with the characters and the experiences and that it's entertainment for you. Now David's halfway around from around the world, but right now he's joining us, so we're so grateful that he took the time to chat with us about the new film uh, in an exclusive sit down. Well, so let me tell you a little bit about Passage. Uh, Passage is a short film that we entered in the uh, live action uh, category of the Academy Awards. There's a section there just for short film. Anything from two minutes up to 40 minutes is considered a short film for that category. Uh, fortunately, I've been here before a long, long time ago. I was a student at the American Film Institute and I did a thesis film called Last Reason Fund. And I was fortunate enough to uh, get a nomination, a gallery nomination for my thesis film. So um, I came across some information that I hadn't heard of before while watching PBS. I was watching a, uh, a host by the name of uh, Henry Louis Gates. And it was about Africa, the west coast of Africa. And I said, wow, I wonder heard anything about that. So I decided to do a short film. So I called up some of my friends in the industry. And, uh, you know, short films are shot within anywhere from two days to seven days, eight days. So I just said, hey, let's go down to the Virgin Islands. Because I used the US Virgin Islands to match West Africa. And I said, let's shoot this short film. And I pitched them the story and they loved it. So uh, we went down and we shot it and, and then we entered. And uh, we've been going around playing it at film festivals. And like I said, it's in the uh, competition for the Academy Awards for 2022. You know, I have to say one other thing. Um, in making this film, uh, I've been in the business for 30 years. It had to be one of the most enjoyable filmmaking experiences of my life. And that's was because of the people who work behind the camera and front of the camera. There was just such a spirit. Um, and um, I think we all walked away saying, we got to work together again. Again, Passage is a film that tells a story that David says hasn't been told before, looking at Africa through a different lens. And if you'd like to attend one of the film's uh, screenings, then you can get more info on the storyline uh, or follow David for future film projects that he's working on, and you can feel free to check out his social media pages. Many people across the nation watch the Academy Awards each year, and we wish David and his team the best of luck. You know, many people watch the award show, and some even try to predict the winners in fun games and friends, uh, with their friends and family, rather. So we thought we should make a game out of it. We thought it'd be fun to test your knowledge on the awards in today's Trivia Time. Everyone calls the trophy an Oscar, but do you know? Do you happen to know the real name of the statue? Is it A, just an Academy Award, B, the Academy Award of Merit, C, the Oscar Smithson, D, the Oscar Award Trophy, or D, none of the above? Hmm, 
Well, let's go ahead and ponder on it just a little bit as we take a quick commercial break uh, and a weather break. But of course, don't go anywhere because when we return, we'll be talking about trash. That's right, all the garbage that is found along South Padre Island and how one local artist turned it into just that art. Plus, we'll have another special guest in the studio, and he's going to tell us about how he uses his experience as a video gamer in his medical school program. That info and our trivia time answer, plus more, when we come back.